World Public Forum Dialogue of Civilizations held a productive series of workshops and meetings during 2014, culminating in the Rhodes Forum at the end of September. The themes for the year were diverse, including the environment, peace and security in Europe, and of course the importance of fostering dialogue. The year began in Vienna with a meeting of the Forum's International Coordinating Committee. Developments in the last uh, few years, especially after 9-11, have, I think, um, led to a definite decline. Cultural identity now has become one of the big issues. Civilizational identity is conflict among each other. But if we seriously dialogue with somebody else, something happens to the participants in dialogue. Dialoguing when people are uh, talking substance with each other, then states have to um, respond. In the middle of May, the Forum held a meeting in Berlin, together with the German-Russian Forum, under the rubric of Europe Lost in Translation. If we want to uh, maintain our identity, in which sense, in what sense, we are different from the others? We've always been taught to think wedge-shaped. There's us and then the other that for most Western European countries, at least 10% of the entire workforce today is foreign-born. Uh, for, for the online movement to re-emerge, you know, to try to prevent a new Cold War and a new split between East and West. Members of the Forum travelled again at the end of May to Siberia, where they participated in the Altai Forum with its focus on the environment. One of, the, one of the lies that uh, people hold in their heads is that somehow humanity is separate and apart from nature, but we're not. We, we, we need nature. I think that the, the real key currently is materialism. Materialism has begun to dominate so entirely. In the framework of the project Schools of Intercultural Dialogue, the World Public Forum, together with the China Sung Chingling Foundation, provided an opportunity for more than 300 children from 20 countries to meet in peace and harmony in a mobile summer camp in Beijing, Wuhu and Shanghai. Finally, the climax of the year's meetings came in September at the Rhodes Forum on the beautiful Greek island. We're confronted by the problems of climate change and uh, nuclear weaponry, which can't be handled through the traditional forms of uh, arranging uh, the relationship between sovereign states. Problems of global poverty and, and growing inequalities is one of the uh, largest uh, concerns. We are searching all around the world for some sort of intermediary forces that could bring people together to start a dialogue, to discuss on the substantial issues that are the underlying causes for the for the conflict that we are in right now. Because a dialogical approach would mean that uh, one state respects the fact that the people in other states live on the basis of their own cultural traditions. And, and the idea of the forum is to look thoroughly into the past and foresee the possible future. That is not only a discussion of the professors, scientists, former uh, politicians or businessmen, that is actual platform, platform of dialogue of civilizations to find a way how to avoid the possibility of the clashes and uh, disastrous events like World War I, World War II. And we have all the reasons to say that since the beginning of the work of World Public Forum, now we possibly are the only existing civil platform who is addressing openly, frankly, 
without any modernization uh, and uh, any suppression, the questions of utmost importance for the development of the world and peace nowadays. Planning is already underway for a new series of meetings in 2015. The World Public Forum continues from strength to strength at a time where more dialogue is increasingly needed to solve the world's problems.